Hey, I'm Mercy with DiscountLowVoltage.com and today we're going to check out a field installable RJ45 connector. We're going to go over it and we're also going to show you guys how to put one together, how to terminate it yourself. So, let's get to it. Now this direct attachment modular plug meets industry standard patch cord requirements. Overall 360 degrees solid metal shielding design. You have a 110 toolless feature termination process. Compatible with solid and stranded conductors. PCB based electrical design. 568A and 568B wiring easy to read color code wiring label. Rated for at least 750 insertion cycles. Alright so now that we checked it out let's go ahead and put one of these together. Step 1. Put cable through the nut. Step 2. Strip off cable jacket for at least 1.2 inches and retain a 0.2 inches of foil from cable end. Back cover of braid then wrap the drain wire on it. Step 3. Put wires through wiring management in coordinates with wiring color code. Step 4. Press wiring management to terminate wires. Step 5. Trim excess wires. Step 6. Assemble the wiring management up on the top surface into the groove of base housing and locate the nut in the indicated slot. Step 7. Put cover into revolving groove. Then press the cover to engage with base housing. Step 8. Lock and tighten the nut. So there you have it. Pretty easy to install, straightforward quality product by Sigdamax. A couple things I do want to mention. The, these are really popular with the Wi-Fi guys, the access points. Instead of putting a jack somewhere and then running a separate patch cable, you can go ahead and just run it straight to the access point. You can also disassemble this, no problem. Uh, the one other thing I do want to mention, the Cat6A version, that little nut in the back, the diameter of the cable that you could fit it through, that, that will fit through there is a 0.25 to a 0.32, or it's a 0.33, one of those two. Um, so double check your Cat6A cable. I know some cables out on the market, they're, um, some of them are kind of larger in diameter than, you know, I think they should be, but um, there it is. I just don't want you to bump into that. I mean, it's not fitting right there, eh, well, you know, that sort of thing. So uh, you, for more detailed spec sheet and to order online, visit discountlowvoltage.com. Thanks.